I'm in Lebanon in downtown Beirut where people have gathered for the past two and a half months to protest against the government. But today, they're welcoming the new year with a concert. DJs and singers performed for a crowd of protesters on New Year's Eve in support of the revolution. I mean, you can party any day of the week. You can party on any New Year, but how many times can you revolt on a New Year? I found like it's uh, uh, an opportunity today to be with the people on the street, even with the family, with the children. It all started in October when the government announced a tax on WhatsApp phone calls. With recent problems of corruption and a weak economy, this change was enough to trigger what many are now calling a Sauda, or a revolution. Since then, protesters have taken to the streets every day, some staying in tents overnight, despite the cold winter. When did you start sleeping here? I started on October 17th. The first day we started the revolution. From 70 days, from the 17 October till now. Oh, you've been sleeping here? Yes. You've been uh, here protesting the past few days? Before yeah, New Year's? Yeah, yeah, no, I was coming like uh, almost every day. Since the Civil War 30 years ago, Lebanon's government has been separated by parties determined by religion. The protests began with one goal, to change this political system and to remove all the current ministers in power. Do you think that getting rid of the entire government right now is the right solution? Uh, getting rid of them alone it will not be the solution because we are asking also about many things. We want to change the whole system that the government is based on. We are a new generation. We don't need this uh, government anymore because this is an old generation that came from the Libyan war. We know that Lebanon is one of the countries that really have 28 religions all together living in the same country. We don't have any problem as you can see here. And in each tent we are mixed, completely mixed. Now, protesters are asking for a lot more. There was one aim at the beginning, and then it, it curved to be a lot of things that many people want. First, we are asking, we are uh, fighting for women, women's rights. Equality between men and women, second. Sir, I told you, we are having an economic crisis in Lebanon. There is no jobs. Water doesn't come constantly. There are um, special places and timing that just the water comes to your, to your house. And other than that, uh, health services are really... What do you think that everyone else is protesting for? Yeah. Um, I think each person has personal uh, causes, but I think on a certain level we are all united and we all want our basic needs, we all want our freedom, we all want peace in this country. We are writing history and uh, whether we achieve our goals in the near future or far away, uh, Lebanon will change. The, the people, they are already changing. Reporting for CalTV News, I'm Perla Shaheen.